Hello everyone. I'm sure we have all learned about osmosis. Do you know that we can perform a very simple experiment with things that are available in our own kitchen? It is called a potato osmoscope. So today I'm going to show you that experiment and how you can perform it at home and surprise your friends and family. So let's get started with what we need for this experiment. We will need a potato. Take a very large one because you want to make an osmoscope out of it. If it is too small, then it will be a little difficult. We'll get some sugar powder. You can take normal sugar and make it into a solution. But if it is a powder, it dissolves faster. Take any food color, any red or yellow food color you can take, which is easily available in the kitchen. We'll need a knife and we'll need two instruments from our instrument box. Apart from that, you need a petri dish, but this one I have taken since it's easily available in the kitchen. I have taken this glass bowl, which you want to be a little deep. You want there to be a little depth because you want the water to stand and you have to put the potato in. Make sure that the potato that you have taken, when you put it inside this glass bowl, there is still some level, some height on it. Okay, so this, these are what you, we need for the experiment. Now let's quickly get started with it. Now we are going to carve out a small cavity in this potato and we will also have to get rid of the skin. So now the easiest way to get rid of the skin if you do not know how to peel a potato is first of all make a cut in such a way that the potato can stand. So that way we will get rid of the lower part, lower skin. So we get rid of the skin here and the potato can also stand. It will not wobble. Okay. Now what we will do is now we will cut off the sides. So the sides will also get rid of the skin and you get more or less a peeled potato. Cut the potato in such a manner that now the potato is like a cuboid or a cube shaped structure. So see we have gotten rid of most of the peel. Whatever is remaining we will get rid of it. If you are not comfortable with this you can take help of an adult or you can use a peeler that's even easier. right? Now. This is the top part of the potato. I have not peeled it because anyway the water will be on the sides and at the bottom. So I want the sides and the bottoms, bottom to be peeled and now I am going to carve out a small square or rectangular cavity on the potato. So for that I will show you how to do it. See, I'm just scraping the walls to make this deeper, but you have to be very careful. Try to make the walls as thin as possible, but we will also have to be very careful that we do not make any, um, you know, hole or any aperture on the wall. So it has to be thin, but it has to be intact before, because if it is not intact, then obviously water will enter as it is and not because of osmosis. And if it is not thin then it will take a long time for osmosis to occur and for you to see the process. Okay, So I am making this as deep as possible, as thin as possible the walls and the lower part but I will not poke the walls too much so that it remains intact. If there is an aperture in the wall then the water can go out or come into the potato osmoscope without even osmosis occurring. Okay. So this is how we, we prepare the potato. As you can see the walls are pretty thin. You should be able to hold it like this. Even the lower part you should be able to hold. It should be a thickness of about uh, the thickness of one or two centimeters. But making, very sh uh, uh, making sure that you do not make an aperture or a hole in the wall. Okay, So that is how your potato osmoscope is now ready to be used. As you can see after you have made the potato osmoscope if you hold it against light this is how it should look like which means that light is almost passing through it it has become translucent it is not opaque this uh, lets you know that you have made it thin enough for osmosis to occur properly. 
So now we will be preparing the hypo and the hypertonic solutions as we need in osmosis. If you remember from the hypotonic solution where water is more in comparison to the other solution, water will move into the hypertonic solution. Right? So here we are going to prepare a hypotonic solution first. So for that I have taken some normal water and just to make sure that this water uh, and the sugar solution that I will be taking as a hypertonic solution do not look exactly similar. I will be mixing some food color into this water. Mix the color well so that the entire water is equally colored. This is enough but if you want a little more color you may add, do not go too dark with the color. Okay, Now I will put the potato inside and when I put the potato osmoscope inside make sure that it is dipped in the water. Okay, Now inside the potato osmoscope I will be putting some water and adding sugar to it to make a concentrated sugar solution. Do not put too much water. because later you would want to see the water level rise. So I will not put too much water here. Now I will be adding some powdered sugar in it. You can go generous, you can add as much powdered sugar as you want because you want a really concentrated solution inside the potato osmoscope. But make sure that you do not add sugar to the outer solution. You want a really concentrated solution inside and a high Potonic solution outside, right? So now I have to mark the level of water inside the potato osmoscope with a pin. So I'm using a small pin and I will put it where the water level is inside the potato osmoscope. This will help you to mark the initial level of water and after osmosis we will see if the water level goes up or goes down. Now if I ask you, can you guess if the water level will go up or go down? Alright, so now it has been about 20 to 25 minutes and we will put another pin to show the final level of water. As you can see the difference between the two pins, so the initial pin was here, the final pin is here. So you can see there is a definite rise in water level and if you look at the color inside the potato osmoscope, the color has also turned slightly pink. Now what does this prove? This proves that the water from outside has gone inside through the walls and the walls contain the cells of potato which have allowed osmosis. So inside we had concentrated sugar solution which was a hypertonic solution and outside we had normal water without any solute with food color. This was the hypotonic solution. So from hypotonic solution into the potato osmoscope, the water went in by osmosis through the walls of the potato which acted like the semi-permeable membrane. How do you know that the solute has not come out from the potato osmoscope? You can simply taste the water outside since it is food color it is safe. You just taste it and if you do not find any kind of sweetness in this water outside, you know that the sugar has not come out. So that is how we can prove that osmosis can occur with the help of this potato osmoscope. So what is osmosis? So it is the process as you can see from this experiment where water or solvent moves from its region of high concentration which is in the hypotonic solution to its region of low concentration which is in the hypertonic solution across a semi-permeable membrane which in this case is the wall of the potato till equilibrium is reached.